Speaking of contract news, Jonathan Taylor, running back for the Indianapolis Colts, who at one point was in an MVP of the uh, entire NFL conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we are one year removed, well, I guess a couple months removed from a season in which he did not play good football. No. He was hurt. The offensive line was terrible. Yep. So there's obviously a lot of different excuses you can make for him not performing up to the level that all of us thought he was going to perform at. So maybe that's the case. But he was nothing like what he was his MVP year. No. A lot of attributing mm -hmm. factors, as is team sports and football. But Jonathan Taylor is one of the only stars that the Colts have who we know, if you get put in the right position, can succeed and do well. Has literally done that his entire life. Yep. Has been healthy his entire life. Yep. Has been a workhorse his entire life. Has been successful his entire life. Uh, Last year was just saying, and ended up with number four overall pick. Yeah. That's not good. Jonathan Taylor, running back, was asked about his kind of contract situation because he is staring down a potential contract, either extension or maybe free agency or franchise tag, and he sees what's happening with Saquon and Zeke and Whoa. Dalvin Cook. Mm -hmm. He was obviously asked about it. Here's his answer. With Dalvin Cook's situation and, you know, Saquon and everything, does it feel like running backs are kind of fighting for the to be recognized for their value? They're de yeah, they're, they definitely are, and it, it's, it's sad. It sucks because... A lot of positions, a lot of positions do a lot for their team. Um, but specifically speaking for the running back position, um, I can just speak firsthand. We do do a lot, and you just want you just want to be treated fairly, um, and not even treated fairly. You just want to be, you know, appreciated for what you bring to the team. It's never about yourself. It's about the team. So what do you bring to the team? So you know, just seeing guys fight. You just hope that things work out for them. I mean, you see why guys, they, they request trades, they, they want, you know, they just want to feel valued by not only their coaches, their teammates, but the organization as well. Um, and, and I think it's, it's something you got to continue to do. Yeah, and then, you know, him saying you could see why people request a trade was certainly one that stole some headlines out of that answer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yep. But if you listen to his answer, he's like, you can see why some people, with the way they're being talked about and how business is going, could get to a point where they're fed up and request to get the hell out of here. Yeah. He also seemingly understands the situation of him mm -hmm. versus everybody but else yes. and what's going on with the Colts. I didn't hear anything to really be that alarmed to, but he is speaking about a reality that he's going to be staring down here that running backs just aren't getting paid right now, seemingly. Yeah, the running back market down. Everyone know that. You can get a good running back pretty much anywhere right now. No one is handing the ball. Not Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Not Henry. Calvin Superstar. Cook. No. I'm just saying. They're saying he's they're really good. The they're really good, but we're done with giving the running back 40, mm. 50 carries. I mean, 40, 30 to 25 carries a game. You know what I mean? Not We're not doing that no more. They're passing the ball now. The game is more up-tempo. It's quick, fast. Um, you need fresh guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's stable. The running back position, actually, like, the fresher and faster you are, yeah. the better, because we need you to either clear out mm -hmm. yep. or fucking bubble out. Yep. Yeah. And both of those are going to be, like, scat backy, but we need you to be fresh almost. Now, there are some offenses the Titans are always going to be. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. going to hammer the ball. That's Vrabel. I think Vrabel's always going to feel that way. I think they're going to do it. The Atlanta Falcons the are going to run the yep. ball. Mm -hmm. The Niners are going to run the ball. Uh, but when... The, the the Niners are a running team, but it's way more than just running. The, the, they back do everything. Yeah, but Christian McCaffrey's their guy. Yeah, but so he they can do everything, him. though. They paid him, though. Derrick Henry got paid out of the Titans. Yep. Yep. Their team's identity is almost coming out of both of those guys. Uh, now, granted, I know George Kittle's a star. Debo, absolute mm. dog. IU came into his own, was his own fucking yeah. monster this past season. I'm sure I'm forgetting people. I do apologize. But Christian McCaffrey, immediately be, uh, upon being dropped on their team, became their focal point. Mm -hmm. He's throwing, he's catching, he's running. But they are a running team. You know, yeah. Juice is leading the way. Yeah. They're misdirecting. They're setting up leverage for pulling tackles. Yeah. Right. And pulling. And tight ends. Yeah, everything. Yeah. They are, they're literally running the ball. But before McCaffrey, that was a stable. Mm -hmm. Big time. Hey, yeah. we just need as many people yeah, as possible years. that can kind of understand everything and be fresh. I think Atlanta's doing the same thing without Cordero Patterson. They're going to try to get people that are fresh. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the value of one has certainly been cut in half by the value of more, strictly because you can be fresher, quicker, and we can just kind of plug and play to your point. But there's some guys that are different. Yes. And they yeah. need to be viewed as X factors. Like Austin Eckler, for instance, go back to the Chargers, sure. who they have to be so frustrated. Oh, yeah. yeah, that stinks. About that whole Justin. Yeah. Herbert has to be like, what? Well, I didn't say anything. What the hell? Is the we'll Somebody see. else said it. And now, <laughs> the biggest story of the day? The throwaway. Tommy Lesko's like, I know it's not your fault, Justin, but like, fuck. We'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah. Guess see, we'll see, see how that can be a problem. But like, Austin Eckler's an X factor. He scores touchdowns. Oh, yeah. why, why are we just viewing him as, I guess they 
just think those days are going to end for him? I don't. But I think I think like Atlanta, like they run, they love to run the ball, and they saw what McCaffrey does for the 49ers, so they went out and got fucking Bijan, who they think is is a guy that can be just like Christian McCaffrey. So like, there's still and he's on rookie deal. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah that's in huge. the in the rookie they had last year, uh, Algier, he had an unbelievable year, and he's also he's going into his second year, and so it does feel like too. The Lions drafted a running back, and the, there was two running backs taken in the top 15, and last year there was no running backs in the first round. So like it, maybe there is some sort of term, but it feels like payment-wise, it'll never get so to what it was. So it's the same thing that kind of happened with the wide receiver market. Remember, the wide receiver market is like you become a team that either pays your quarterback or you pay a wide receiver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now the Buffalo Bills have been able to do both somehow, and they're still not. No, nope, they are. They're back. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. They're back. They're back. But with the run on wide receivers out of the draft, you saw a lot of GMs being like, don't have to pay this guy. Can get rid of this guy. We'll draft one in the first round. Running back seemingly falling into the same exact. Yes. Like, hey, if the guy's really good, mm-hmm. we would like him to be on our team. But also, we're not paying him 15 million. <laughs> yeah. right. right? We can pay. We got a rookie <laughs> that we can probably. Mm-hmm. Seems to have all the bills and whistles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll get 800 yards. We don't know if he can be as durable and if he'll be able to pick it up as quickly as obviously this person already has it. But we can cut out $10 million. I mean, that is. Every team is looking to do that so they can pay yeah. somebody else almost. You're always robbing Peter to pay Paul right. Right. Yeah. whenever you're doing a salary cap. Anytime there is a certain amount of money that you're able to pay to an entire group of people, you're always trying to figure out where you can pull from, where you can add from, how do you make this whole thing work like a puzzle. feels like the running back market is currently the one where we're taking out of the veteran running back market and we can send it somewhere else, and we'll have maybe one other team figure that out. Panthers traded Christian McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. yeah. One year after the big deal, I think. Yep. Yeah. In the middle of like his best year that he was having, most healthy year he was mm-hmm. having, doing everything he could possibly do for that particular program was going the other way. They trade him. He's still a great player, still beloved. So good. But they're like, yeah, we're not, we don't need to be that much money tied up in the running back for the next couple of years. It's an interesting time, and it sucks for the running backs. Yeah. We're pulling for all of you, though. Yeah. yeah. Good luck, running back. Good luck, running back. And even like a guy like JT, like, I mean, you look at what Josh Jacobs did last year. Like, when these guys have like the best season of their career, it's almost like to a detriment because it's like, well, we just gave you a shitload of carries. Like, you're not going to be able to reproduce that and do it again. So it's like when they do go out and perform and have incredible years, like, that's not really being rewarded either because it's just putting more miles on them. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay, yeah, but that was our decision for you to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what a thing to yeah. say. To yeah, what else can you do? Yeah, yeah well, that's that's a tough spot. I just hope these guys continue to ball. I hope Jonathan Taylor's great again. Mm-hmm. And I hope they put Chris Ballard in a bind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Doesn't look good. What? For Jonathan Taylor. Two offensive linemen caught the first two punts. Those not, boys are moving. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Vibes are hot. Anthony Richardson, he's slinging the pill. But yep. Yeah, uh, Andy, I'm just here so I won't get fined. He's got a good personality. Do you mm-hmm. think with Anthony Funny. Richardson being a mobile quarterback, Army. able to run, and you have to pay Taylor and Pittman, they might lean to Pittman because he needs wide receivers? I think it's mm-hmm. good to have a great running back. I think it's good to have a great running sure. back alongside Anthony Richardson. And we're just going to co- – hey, don't you worry about what the Colts are going to do. They're going to figure it out. Not worried yeah. at all. Jonathan Taylor did not request a trade, though. He was talking about other people's situations. Yes. Right. And with that being said, Dalvin Cook's so fucking good. Yeah. So oh, good. Exactly. And he is currently just available. And I yep. think Dalvin Cook going to end up the same way in San Francisco. Wherever Dalvin Cook end up, he's going to be that guy. Yep. And he's going to make the But they're going to tell him he's not going to be. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, wherever sure. he's going right now, they're going to say, yeah, we're thinking, obviously, you're going to get less touches, and we have a couple good guys we like. Uh, but there's only, like, one Dalvin Cook out there. Yeah. So, so if we're only going to give the ball to a running back – 15, 16 times, we might as well give it to the fucking, (laughs) right? If we got a guy. So that's not great for Zeke. You know, no, not no, at all. That's not great for anybody. If Dalvin Cook's available. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's uh, in a a seemingly drier well money-wise, the running back market. Yeah. Having Dalvin Cook be available right now is. Zeke's not doing those things. Yeah. No. Well. Yeah, not at all. Leonard Fournette ran over Kyle Brandt. I seen him. <laughs> yep. You see Kyle mm-hmm. Brandt was on his back. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Still got it. I mean, he didn't even budge when Kyle Brandt jumped on his back. Oh, yeah. Legit. Kyle, Kyle Brandt's a big son of a bitch. He is. Yeah. Big handsome son Stash. of a bitch. Mm-hmm. 